<laughs> kind of figured I would show you guys uh, a little bit of how the Arduino IDE uh, package works um, and kind of what it takes to load a sketch and all that kind of basic stuff. Uh, I'm also going to demonstrate the three button sketch, which I haven't actually posted yet. Uh, it's a modified version of the four button sketch. It was originally written by uh, Jeff Saltzman, uh, but this one I kind of modified and took out one of the uh, the button options, with the, which is the extra long delay. Uh, I just didn't care for the way it works. So, uh, but the one uh, single click, double click, and long hold uh, works great. Uh, so I wanted to keep that part of it. So I was able to hack and modify his code. So again, the original credit is uh, Jeff Saltzman. Um, and let me kind of go over some of what we're doing. All right, there's the other laptop screen up. Uh, as far as the actual connection to the uh, Arduino, I'm going to plug in USB. And right now I've got it under um, under power. I've got a wall board hooked to it. Uh, so as you can see, with the uh, wall board active, just reset it. <laughs> okay, um, with just the wall war power without it actually hooked to the computer, it's still running, it's still doing its blinky uh, thing. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB. It recognizes it as a COM port, uh, which you upload your sketch to. Um, so, let's keep going with this. Uh, now that I've got a sketch loaded, which I had done ahead of time, I'm just going to click this. Uh, button on the top, it goes and compiles the code, and in the process of that, it'll basically tell me if I've got any syntax errors or things like that. Um, the, high, the yellow is just highlighting on the screen, uh, and then undo that. Uh, then I click, once I've got the Arduino hooked up, I click Upload, and this is actually loading the new code, which is the button click code, to the Arduino. Um, I've now got a message that we're done uploading. So to kind of demonstrate what this does, uh, some video artifacts here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see or not. Um, what I've got to set up to do is a single click turns on and off the red LED. A double click turns on green. And if I press and hold for about two, three seconds, it'll turn on the blue LED. And uh, that's basically the key to uh, nested menus right there. I think it'll uh, allow us to do quite a bit. So again, single click red. Double click gives us a green. And press and hold will give us a blue. Uh, you can also turn on the combinations of colors that way by doing a single click, which gives us a purple mixture of red and red and blue, um, and a double click turn on greens basically got them all on. Um, double click turn off greens, and click turn off the red. Press and hold, and I'll turn off the blue. So that's kind of an overview of uh, how easy it is to load things.